Hello YouTube, Too Much SBL here and today we're going to be reviewing the Thunderbolt Solar Charge Regulator. Uh, we have a setup here that this, basically this runs a fountain pump that we have in our backyard. Um, a solar panel that's mounted on the roof of the shed goes to the regulator which charges the battery and you got to excuse the makeshift wiring because I was doing some real testing to kind of figure out what was happening back here. And on the other side of the shed, I'm going to show you in a second, there's a motion sensor which feeds the motor to the pump that every time you walk into the, into the gazebo, the pump turns on. Down below we have the battery and it's all pretty much out of, out of sight, out of mind. I'm going to clean this wiring up, but I kind of want to show you what I found during my testing. I believe most regulators have a draw on them even when the pump is off. As you can see, the pump isn't on and this regulator is drawing pretty much um, 0.07 amps basically. Uh, actually at one point it was uh, 0.09 before I started the video. And you gotta kind of factor this in and parasitic draws even when nothing's have a have a has a load on it basically. So I'm kinda of, kinda of sneak around here. I don't want to trigger the motion sensor to turn the pump on. Well actually I don't really think it matters. But I'm gonna kinda of come out here the best I can to show you that the fountain actually isn't on yet. And to show you we're drawing, uh, it's actually dwindling down, which is kind of great. I would love it to stay around 0 0.4, 0 0.5, but that just definitely isn't the case. And this thing varies wildly, it seems like. So I'm going to come over here and trigger the pump to turn on. And I'm going to show you the motion sensor while I have a chance. Sorry for the shaky camera. And as you can see, when I get it about pretty much halfway to the gazebo, the motion sensor that I have mounted right here, kind of out of the rain, triggers the pump to turn on. I'm gonna give you a link to all this stuff in here, so that way, if anybody wants to replicate this, they totally can, including how we converted this from 110 to 12 volts, including the pump I used. And I have the timer set for 10 minutes, so this is I'm gonna end the video anyway, before well before 10 minutes. Just at least you saw it beforehand before the pump turned on, the amperage draw. The pump I use is a, um, I believe, four tenths of an amp, milliamps or something like that pump. And as we're drawing, I'm getting 0.26 coming directly from the battery in between that's feeding the, the actual regulator. All in all, this has been a decent regulator. I'm actually going to probably swap this out and try one of the cheaper digital ones that's on eBay to give an AB comparison to see if this is really good or not because I'm not in too in love with the amperage draw. Now on this setup we're using this is not really the best battery to use for something like this. I just scored this from the junkyard for 20 bucks no core charge nothing like that and they just have a rack full of batteries and you bring your load tester. They actually have a load tester in there for and whichever one is the best that's the one you buy. Now we have our panel mounted basically on the roof of the shed and I'll give you a peek at that right now. Excuse the central air on right now. And I believe this pumps out seven watts and it's about maybe 30 bucks at Harbor Freight. I'll put a link to the description for everything including this in the video and in the descriptions. And all in all it's been a great system. I. I got to admit, I like to kind of learn how things work and learn what they're doing and what they're not doing because this is my first kind of solar adventure to begin with. And doing my first testing, um, I kind of tested, I was curious, was the motion sensor actually drawing power with the, um, with the pump off? Remember, this load basically always has 12 volts on it. It's connected to the load. And this always has uh, 12 volts pumping out of it, even if um, nothing's drawing. So I tested this in between there, and I was getting zero amperage draw, which is great. And I decided to test 
what amperage draw was pulling from the battery from the regulator itself. And basically I was getting the you know point oh seven amps basically at the beginning of the video. But let me know if you guys have any questions about this setup. And I'll end this video right here. Thanks.